Hey guys, it's me Evelyn here on Ironic X today to show you guys how I use green screens in my edit. So I already have a video open and I'm going to use this video so I can show you guys how I use green screens. So you want to go ahead and download a green screen of your choice. Uh, I can, you can find them all over YouTube and on packs. So I'm not really going to show you guys how I download them, but I'm just show you guys how I actually go with it. So I'm going to go into my explorer here in my um, tracks and I'm just going to go straight into my overlays here. And I have my green screens in here so I'm just gonna right click on a random green screen so we're just gonna right click on the hipster edition go to trim and I'm just gonna scrub right around here because I already have one already selected from a previous edit so I'm just gonna select all of this here I'm gonna press tab to audio off and I'm just gonna click and drag this trim to right around here and as you can see when we get into this area it is um, a blue uh, getting a blue screen because I have a coloring on at the moment but that's okay but what you want to do to get rid of the green screen you want to go ahead into video effects when I go to chroma here and you want to just drag either pure green screen or default onto that track there and once it drags over it's going to um, click the color you want to just search for the color you're choosing and usually it's green so you could just do that or if you want you can grab your uh, color selection and then click on the color that the background usually is. By the moment I have a coloring on so it's not really going to help me out there. So as you can see like it does that and you can just like click that and it's like all blue you have to like change yourself or you can just go down to drop menu and do pure green screen. And then there you have it you can just select that all. Shift B to pre-render selection. And then you can press play, which I'm going to mute my audio so that I don't get um, copyright on this tutorial. And just, and it just sounds like that. Now if you get a little bit of a black um, thing here, you always set your uh, track effects to screen. Or you can actually go back into your effects and click show mask only. And sometimes that will get rid of it, um, but at the moment it's not doing that for me. So I, I usually set my track to screen, which I'm just going to right click, insert a new video track, drag this on top, and then set it to screen so I can show you guys how it looks. And it usually it gets rid of the black lines really well. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to have more for you soon. Bye guys!